Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we're going to be going over the final season 12 frequency data. So, BBS, a great member of ESL and a great content creator in his own right, has been gathering frequency data about the end of season 12, specifically starting with the time following the MG overhaul, the second one that we got later into the season. This is important because this gives us a good idea of how well it worked, as well as giving us some more updated information from the beginning of the season. However, the season ends tomorrow, and a lot of changes really are going to be seen when we see Adrenaline and the new SMG. So, I felt like I had to get this video out ASAP so that way we can cover season 12 in its own right, and then begin to think about season 13 and what this really means for the future going forward. So, this video is a little bit less organized than normal, it's really just going to be me going over my findings as I find them. So, let's just get right into it. Starting off, I want to talk about really the continuing trends from the beginning of Season 12, and that is really the death of the AR meta. ARs have dominated percentages for forever, they've been the most used frequency-wise pretty much since the game released, and it's been a massive issue for anyone really talking about general balancing of the game. That is over. They have continued to go on a downward spiral that really began at the beginning of the season, and it has not let up. The AKM lost another whole percent. The A1 lost a whole percent. These are guns that don't lose entire percents. We're talking about the M16 is down to 2%, something that it's never been this low. Um, but these aren't bad things. I mean, you can immediately think, oh my god, all these guns are losing percentages, that's really bad. It just shows that people are leaving the AR meta and going into other things, which was the whole point of the MG shotgun and rifle overhauls and, the, and their occurrences was to get people off the uh, AR meta that had just been dominating forever. Um, a lot of people, when they hear AKM, you know, dropping 1.18%, there is an instinct to panic and immediately assume that balancing wise we are losing new players that's usually what it means frequency wise however um, it really seems like the vz58p which is now at 5.5 percent having gained a full percent um, between the gap and the data is the new starter gun that a lot of people are flocking to moving off of starter guns some other stuff i'm immediately noticing we have the um SVU. So the SVU took a tumble due to the birth of the MG meta, but it's back. It's at 4.12% right now, having gained two entire percentiles since the beginning of the season. It's a top tier gun, so it's going to have high percentages for really forever, and it's really cemented itself in that place, as is the LED5, which is also at 4.57, having not moved from its beginning season numbers. These are big tier guns. Of course, when we're talking about big tier guns, though, we do got to mention the elephant in the room. That's the M249. The M249 did not slow down, as some predictions were having it, especially after the nerf. You would think the 249 would slow down. Slow down. It did not. The 249 has gained another whole percent and 0.45% extra, um, hitting itself at 7.43%. It is in meta territory now, and it makes you raise questions of how the hell can they nerf it further. Um, but I'm not sure if a nerf is necessary here. It's more opinion at this point. It is in, it is in meta numbers now at 7%, so we do need to consider what to do about it. Um, but what can be done about it after the, the original nerf? I'm not really sure. Um, and that's something that, that is up for debate. Moving from there, though, the Bugle. A lot of people are saying Bugle meta is dead and dying. It's not 3.76%. It's still trucking. It's still up there. It's it's doing the same thing it's always been doing, you know, being a very valid gun. Um, across the board, though, there is the, you know, the, the MG meta didn't work unilaterally, and there's a lot of guns that barely benefited from it, but a lot of those guns have started to see an undoing of the progress they made. The KT-62, for example, has decayed by about 0.15%, so within margin of error, but it's really a sign that it isn't continuing to grow, um, and this can be seen across other MGs um, across the field. The PKM, as well, has stopped moving despite not even getting to a full percent, and um, that's really just kind of a tragedy you know rpk 74 lost a percent uh during this situation and, and that shows that the mg meta did not work unilaterally as a lot of people were hoping uk is another one uk vz50 a piece of water gun people were calling a meta runner it's not it's not even at two percent right now um so we can also see though that that one gun in particular did really get hit with the you know people switching the mgs you're going to have at least one mg is going to spike through the roof and that's the mg3 gaining 1.6 percent 
um, through this ordeal. It's not 3.76%, so it is a pretty impressively ranked gun um, out there, which is weird because the MG3 really has never had that position. Um, talking about other things that I feel like are of uh, some pertinence, uh, the SG-1 isn't moving. It's still at 2.4 and in, in the general vicinity of 2.4. Um, and as well as the H bar not moving, still at 2.15. I think it was at 2.16. So it's within margin of error. It's a level of change. So really, uh, people aren't fleeing off these guns at any higher rates. Um, so overall, what do we have to talk about? Well, generally speaking, not much has changed from the beginning of the season. Um, a lot of our predictions that the MG meta would slow down happened it's just really the 249 did keep on trucking despite getting hit with nerfs i mean it is going to probably need more looking at um going into the future however across the board things don't look very bad right now when it comes to balancing this is some of the best we've ever seen is what i was saying kind of in the beginning of the season that things are going quite well right now they still are nothing has really changed that yet um i'm just hopeful we do get an smg overhaul as i said in the beginning of the season because that would be the thing that could fix a lot of the minor nuanced problems we have right now in the frequency um, by, you know, just reviving some of these guns that are that are quite dead um, at this point in time. But that's just my thoughts. I know this video is a lot more hectic than my usual frequencies, a lot more clicking, a lot more just me reading numbers straight at you guys, not as much graphics. But, I mean, the new season drops tomorrow, guys. So I wanted to make sure I at least got this to you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, though. I hope you guys are excited for Season 13, or at the very least, are you know, going to try it out tomorrow. I know I will be. Um, and I'm curious to see what Season 13's frequency will be like. But we'll only know when it happens. And until then, this has been Chris Reist. See you all next time. Mm -hmm.